afternoon my friends welcome to Frenchie's video well last Friday I left you with this card how to make this card if you didn't see it you can check my blog at www.frenchystamps.com and you will see how to make this lovely card and now today I'm going to show you how to make the envelope for it so let me put this back together because we want to um, have our card to um, put in the envelope. So I'm going to show you how to do this size envelope. This is a six and a half by six and a half done. I had done this card first and when I did my envelope I feel it's kind of a little bit too big for this uh, envelope. In the five and a half template that I got, it's a little bit too small. So I would need like five and three quarter. I didn't want to play with the size. So we're going to, I increase my card. People ask me, how do I mail this? Well, I take an address label. You know those sticky address label? I put one right here. And then on the corner, I put another one to put my... Um, I'm reaching for an address label right here. And then in the corner, I put a smaller one for uh, the returning address. This is the size that I would use here. And then I get a place to write the address. Here I would put the returning address and my stamp there. One thing that you want to um, remember when you use a uh, D-size card, anything that it's a perfectly square, going to need more uh, postage. To be exact, I don't know how much more when I do them, when I send a like a six by six uh, envelope or five and a half, I use two forever stamp. I don't even know the price of the forever stamp to be honest with you, and it get there. So to be sure, just stop at the post office at the and ask one of the the worker there to tell you exactly how much. So, because I don't want you to put that in the mail and then the one that received it have to pay extra. I did that before with the clear envelope. It was not nice. Okay, now back to the Simply Score. And if you wonder how you can get one of those lovely toys, you can go on my blog at frenchystamps.com. I got the button, click here, and you're going to be able to place your order directly on my blog. This is the Simply Score board. That was what they came up last fall, stepping up, uh, came up with. And this is an add-on, the diagonal plate. The diagonal plate, it's $11.95 for the plate. And if you don't have the board, it is $29.95. And I'm going to put the numbers on the screen there so you can see. When you get your um, add-on, the diagonal, you're going to see it's an arrow on top. You're going to take the hero, make sure it face up, push this right in the corner, make sure it's all the way in the corner, and then we're ready to do diagonal score. Okay, to do this six and a half size envelope, it's for a six by six card, but the finished size is six and a half. We're going to need, need a piece of paper, ten by ten. Then we're going to score the four side at four and five eight. So this is four and a half, that would be five eight. So we're gonna score all four sides at four and five eight. Four and a half, four and five eight. So it would be very smart of me if I take one of my um, marker, that's why we get them, and then I, because I did another one and I mixed up, I did Forms, I don't know what. So then I would put my marker there so then I don't have to pay attention. That's a big add-on to this core board, that, uh, the marker that you can put. So then you don't have to pay attention. You can be like me, talk and score at the same time. Okay, now that we get this done, I'm going to remove the board. And we're going to reinforce our score line. Anytime you score, it's very good to reinforce your score line so whatever it is, if it's a box, envelope, it's going to fit much better than if you don't reinforce it. Okay, after I'm done reinforcing this, 
voila you still see it's the square it's a little V where it meet the score there. We're going to cut that off. And like I said, you don't want to go inside here. You want to go on the outside or inside the envelope when you cut. So then it's going to fold better. So go on the inside of your score. It's going to make a big difference when you're going to come to uh, fold your envelope. And we're going to do that at the four points there. Here we go. One more to go and we're almost done. This is going to be a very quick video. Maybe if I would stop talking it would go faster. Here we go. Now we're going to do this. Oops. We got, this is your center here. What I'm going to do, what I like to do, you can do many ways. Me, what I like to do I like to put the glue dots right here at the point and just a little bit below the point and then I'm going to close this. That's it. That's the only thing I do there. Here I like to put some snail. going to put snail there, snail here and like this. And then on my pointy thing there again I'm going to use a glue dot. The glue dot seems to secure it very good. And when you go, don't just close it because sometimes see it's bold. Go from the bottom and go up. Voila, your envelope is done. Then I would take my card. Whoops, got a thread here. Take my card. Look how nice it fit in. Everything match. Voila. And this DSP, by the way, it's um, a paisley petal. So that is it, my friend. Till next time. Happy stamping.